Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. I am here to provide insight and guidance for Scorpio for the month of May 2019. Getting my timer started here. So of course this is going to apply to your sun, um, it can apply to your moon or rising. Um, if you have Scorpio in your chart and uh, you know and maybe in Jupiter or Mars or of course you'll have to know um, what, what is in your birth chart and what influences you have but it could just be someone with a Scorpio energy so um, either way just take what resonates and leave what doesn't so I'm going to get um, the energies for the month then I'll pull an additional card uh, just to deepen the reading and then I'll pull another card that's going to be your action going forward okay so let's get started okay energy and messages for Scorpio for the month of May 2019 what does Scorpio need to know and just to let you guys know I'm only covering zodiac signs that have the most views so I believe Scorpio you guys had I think over 170 I think 175 views let me see here if I can see really quickly uh, I think it's about right yeah like 175 yeah 175 so you guys oops so you guys have 175 my phone just fell on the floor so thank you so much for supporting me I really appreciate it so let's get started okay that there so let's see energy messages for Scorpio for the month of May 2019. What does Scorpio need to be aware of in the month of May 2019? Please give me an insight, Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, the month of May 2019. Scorpio, Scorpio. Okay, the six cards. Ooh, the wheel. Okay. Okay, so Scorpio, we have the wheel, we have the four of wands in reverse, we have the knight of wands in reverse, the devil card in reverse, the uh, empress card in reverse, and the six of cups. So I usually don't re read reversals um, as of lately, but I forgot to turn my cards right set up, so don't mind it if it's reversed, okay? So the, the wheel card. So Scorpio, I feel like... For the month of May, um, there's going to be some type of karmic cycle. This karmic cycle um, seems to be something that has represented itself. Um, it could be a person entering your life again, or it could be just a situation representing itself that's kind of testing you at this time. And it has something to do with um, a relationship that you're currently in. It can have something to do with your home life, uh, maybe dealing with um, a family member, someone that's in your circle. Um, but it's really important that you keep your cool. Whatever the situation is that's representing itself, um, it could leave you feeling a bit reckless, which means you know you could act really strongly towards the situation, maybe act a little bit out of hand or get really upset. So it's really important for you to not really get drawn into this. It's important that you continue to move forward um, and keep your eye on the prize. Um, understand that you're able to uh, create the strong foundation that you want just because things kind of go left does not mean it's the end of the world so it's really important for you to um, see that you will get through this continue to move forward okay but I feel like this um, this karmic cycle it's something that's going to just I guess try to test you test your spirit so it's really important that you um, continue to move forward and not let the situation get the best of you okay um, for some of you it could represent that um, home life is definitely going really good. You could be dealing with um, a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, okay, or somebody that has this energy, or you could have this energy, but it's um, a positive energy that's moving forward, okay. Um, for some of you, you know, things could be going very well, then all of a sudden something presents itself that could test you. So once again, it's really important that you continue to move forward and not allow 
um, you know, the situation to get the best of you. Okay. Um, and I mentioned this before, but it, and also it can represent somebody re-entering your life and then you getting back together with them. Okay. And then this person's like in, he comes into your life and then he's going back out again. So I also see it that way too. So this person coming in and then going back out. Okay. It's like a, you know, for some of you, it could be a one night stand or just a, you know, just a little hot fling. But not for all of you. Okay, so then we have the devil card here. It's in reverse. So the devil card here is a good sign when it's in reverse. It's um, breaking the chain. So for some of you Scorpio, someone could have came back into your life. It could have been a Capricorn, um, you know, or someone with Capricorn energy, devil-like energy, and you're refusing to um, even give this person a chance again. You're not even wanting to grow with this person because of what you have been through with them. So this could definitely be your karmic cycle coming back, a test, this person re-entering your life, and it's a test to see if you're going to take this person back for some of you, okay? Um, but I see that you are not wanting this person back, or it could represent you trying to get back with an ex, and, and then they are not wanting to... Um, they're not wanting to rekindle this relationship. You could be dealing with the Taurus, or you could be dealing with the Libra, okay? Or Capricorn, okay? Um, this also represents that um, for some of you, Scorpio, um, if you're wanting someone back, if you're wanting um, someone to re-enter your life, you're wanting them back, it's really important that you ask yourself why okay it's really important that you ask yourself why you want this person back is it because you feel lonely is it because you're thinking about the past and how things used to be so therefore you're wanting to get them back because you're lonely and you're just in love with how things used to be but maybe maybe 90 percent of it was like hell and 10 percent of it was good you know, it could be a case like that, but it's really important that you ask yourself why you want this person back. You shouldn't go back to a person um, if you feel lonely, okay, and it's because because you want a family. You want to go back to this person when this person did not do you, do you right. That's for some of you. So, but I'm, I'm not here to tell you what to do at all, but I'm just saying um, you're, if you want to be with someone, you want them to be on the same page as you. You don't want there to be... Um, difference of opinions or difference of belief, okay? And I see this four of um, wands in reverse neck up with the um, Empress card in reverse. And this is kind of telling me about a broken home. You know, Scorpio, for some of you, you may have a child with this person, okay? And this relationship is just maybe toxic. It's just not good for you. But you still want to be with this person because you have children with them, okay? Or, you know, you're still married to them, but the, just the home is broken. So, for some of you, it's going to be a call to look at things realistically and understand that this toxic bond that you guys had, okay, this bond that you guys had is just broken, you know? The devil card talks about bondages, it talks about a karmic relationship, it talks about a toxic relationship as well, but it's in reverse. So you had the opportunity, the Wheel of Fortune came in and ended this toxic relationship for you, so you could actually free yourself and start thinking about yourself. When the Empress card is right side up, this is a woman that takes pride in herself, of course, but she loves herself so much. And she's nurturing herself and she's pregnant as well, she's fertile with life. Okay, for some of you, you could have had a baby by this person, okay? You know, but um, she's in the reverse. So since you've, since you've broken the cycle, it's now a time for you to start focusing more on yourself, okay? We have a, num a number six here, two number sixes at the end. We have a six of cups, the last card. And the, the six of cups, which is the last card here, is basically saying that there's a need for you to think about the best case scenario, okay? Uh, also represents somebody entering your life again. But I also see this as, you know, take the good memories you've had, you know, in your, in your life and just continue to move forward and understand that you are able to create this happiness in your life again, okay? Having, this having two sixes at the end just tells me that 
you are seeing past the veil now. The devil made you believe that, you know what, you didn't deserve to be happy. You didn't deserve um, greatness. You didn't deserve abundance. You didn't deserve this. You didn't deserve that. But the devil's a lie because he's upside down here, okay? And you know, you now have a new beginning. The Six of Cups is Scorpio. It represents Scorpio, Sun and Scorpio. So this is you, Scorpio. This is after this, after this toxic cycle has been broken, now you have the ability to be happy again. You have the ability to um, welcome back joy into your life, okay? As long as you allow it. It really mean it's really as long as you allow it, okay? Um, for some of you, you may have a hard time moving towards that vibration. You may be stuck on this person or whoever you're dealing with or stuck on certain beliefs. And this is really um, a karmic lesson at this time. So it's really important that you uh, choose wisely and, and direct your energy wisely. Move towards a positive outcome. Move towards, and not to say move towards a positive outcome because sometimes negative things happen, of course, but move towards positivity. Think about the, mo uh, the best outcome, you know? Think positively. So that's what it's saying. Let me see how much time I got. Okay. So, I mean, ultimately, ultimately, Scorpio, these are, I mean, they're beautiful cards with some temptation. You're going to be tempted, but do your best to um, fight temptation and continue to move forward. You know, this is like a karmic lesson. Something's going to present itself, and it, it may even um, threat, threaten or um, tamper with your foundation, but it's really important for you to continue to move forward no matter what. And think about the best case scenario and understand that you can create and bring abundance in your life. You can have the love life that you want. You can have the uh, job that you want, you know. It's really about directing that energy. And, and just because we go through difficult times does not mean it's the end of the world. We have to understand that. It's a karmic wheel. A wheel, karmic wheel. It's a cycle. You, we have to understand that. But when the cycle comes back around and it's like a similar situation, we have to make sure we choose wisely and, and do our best not to make the same mistakes over. You know? Yes, we're humans. We will make mistakes. But do, we have to do our best not to make the same mistakes over. So let's see here. Scorpio. Divine message for Scorpio. Divine message for Scorpio to help them see clearly for the month of May, to help them feel grounded, to help them feel at peace. Okay, Scorpio, okay, so we have the organizer, okay, and the organizer is Saturn. We have the devil card, which is Saturn. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, okay, so we have this here. So it says the organizer, Saturn. Everything has its rightful place. So this is going back to that karmic will. It's going back to cycle. Sometimes things um, happen to us or at, at a fast pace. It could be negative or positive or whatever. But we have to understand that we are where we need to be at that time. And, you know, karmic lessons teaches us um, basically lessons. And we gain wisdom at that same time. So do your best not to fight what is what is currently happening in your life you know if it's something negative do your best not to uh, fight it so much but continue to move forward I'm not saying lay down and allow somebody to walk all over you but do your best to pick your battles in a sense okay and understand that um, when we have difficulties and, cha and challenges it builds our endurance okay so it says everything has its rightful place patient practical truthful committed steadfast orderly, reliable, considerate, consistent, disciplined, systematic, inst instinctual, excuse me, careful, detailed, discerning, rational, okay? So that's the definition for that card for Saturn, okay? And let's see what direction, action going forward, actually. Let's see the action going forward for... Scorpio. Action going forward for Scorpio for the month of May 2019. For the month of May 2019. And, you know, going back to it, the organizer could just simply mean organizing your energy and, and what you're putting your energy into. You know, have priority. You know, have your priorities. Okay.
This is for Scorpio going for it. Action going for it for Scorpio. Action going for it for Scorpio. I got lost in my thoughts. Okay, I'm just going to pick these two. Okay, peace and imagination. So, peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. So, this could represent releasing, of course, negative energy that you have within yourself, releasing negative people that are in our lives, negative thoughts. You guys get the picture. Also, this is um, blue, so it's representing the throat chakra. So for some of you, Scorpio, if you've been very negative towards others, um, maybe a call to watch out for that. Or if people have been negative towards you, it may be a call for you to just protect your energy. And any negative energy coming your way, of course, it's important that you transmute that. You know, don't don't be tempted by this person because sometimes the devil comes in to tempt us and tries to upset us and we can't fall prey to that. OK, we can't fall prey to that. Next card is imagination. It's kind of like a purple, purplish lavender color. Hey, excuse me. Um, it says, I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Okay. So you embrace and nourish the creative aspect of your mind. So this Six of um, Cups here, which represents the Sun at Scorpio, um, it looks like she's daydreaming. And these are thoughts, okay? These are thoughts. And it could definitely um, represent that you need to be a bit more creative minded if you are not in a relationship and you're looking to have a relationship with someone and have a stable you know home or whatever the case may be it may just call for you to, to visualize start using your imagination and um, visualize positivity coming into your life visualizing how you would want your perfect husband or partner to be uh, visualize you know um, having a a, a job that makes you feel good every day having a job that you're passionate about it just it could be anything so it's about really visualizing as well and thinking positively you know if you're going through a difficult time you can have you can it's hard of course to go through that you know but you can also start visualizing your mind a perfect outcome um seeing things resolve on their own, thinking positively, sending love to the people that have been negative towards you, things like that. That has that has power. And it goes back to organizing, organizing your thoughts, okay? Organizing your thoughts um, so that they are positive, you know, so that they are not negative, so they are not focused on um, past hurts or focused on negativity or focused on anger, you know, anything that's low vibrational. Okay, and on the bottom of this deck here, it's showing this queen of coins here. So it's going back to the mind. Okay, so really watching your thoughts, Sagittarius. Oops, <laughs> I mean Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Scorpio. <laughs> I did see some fire here, so I don't know. It just came out. So, okay, Scorpio. So that's going to end the reading for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a like and um, uh, also subscribe as well. Um, also turn on the alerts if you want to see when I go live because I do go live at times. But either way, if you'd like to book a reading with me, um, my email will be in the description box below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of May and God bless.